Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Abby Nicole and we're about to get right into this makeup tutorial So let's get it. Let's go. So today I'm gonna be using a couple palettes today But the first one I am going to be using and the main one I'm gonna be using is the KKW X Mario palette here um, As you can see I use the shades that have the X on it in this palette um, I just wanted to do a, t a voiceover video so I could further explain to you what I'm doing more so than talking and making this a long video for no reason so I am going for a very nice uh blue kind of look today i don't know what to call this look i guess it's kind of like a halo eye but i'm not gonna talk too too much during the eyeshadow portion because i feel like it's very 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 self-explanatory and you can like see what i'm doing you know intricately so um without further ado we will continue to watch the eyes and i'll come back for the foundation and the rest of the video let's keep it between us like we did in last room come and girl let me show you Alright, so, so usually for this part, I like to use my NYX glitter primer, but I couldn't find it, so I went back to this old, old OG product that I first started using when I started playing with eyeshadow, and this is the Urban Decay. Decay. Wow. The Urban Decay Primer Potion. And honestly, you guys, I was like really annoyed to work with this product because I'm like, bruh, I don't know why I stopped using it, but I feel like I don't like it anymore. But using it again today, I'm like, bruh, I missed you. Like, thank you for coming back in my life. Um, I still like my next, you know, better though. <laughs> but I definitely appreciated this. Look how pigmented the blue is. No fallout, no problems. Alright, so to moisturize my face, I'm going to be using the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. And I love, love, love this because this moisturizes the skin so much. Maybe a little too much. That's how much, it, that's how moisturizing it is. Um, so I'm really going to moisturize my face with this. Making sure that I get everything, you know, all parts of my face. And then I'm going to move on with my foundation. I want it. Just kidding. I ended up going in with um, the concealer that I use on top of my brows under my eyes just because a little bit of the eyeshadow fell there and made it a little dark. And even though I wiped it away, it was still there. And because I wanted to cut my eyeshadow and make it sharp before I put my foundation on. So now we're going to go into foundation. For foundation today, I really wanted to go for like a tannish kind of look like i wanted to go in with a darker foundation because i wanted to look more tan and more dark i don't know more sun kissed so i'm using my maybelline foundation here and um unfortunately maybelline doesn't have my shade in this foundation so i have to finesse with this but i love this foundation it is the maybelline up to 24 hour foundation and this one is in the shade 355 coconut and then i go ahead and mix that in with the foundation you saw there which is the covergirl vitalist healthily healthy elixir in the shade classic tan um i like these two shades together they look so good on the skin and like i said it just gives me that tan finish as you can see i'm looking a little bit orangey reddish but that's because of the un undertones in the maybelline foundation but the cover girl kind of helps it and brings it back to um more of a normal color but you're gonna see me fix it with concealer so if i look like a tomato right now I'm fixing it now with my Kylie concealer and this one is in the shade granola and I really really like this shade so much um usually I pair this shade with a brighter shade but because my foundation was so much more darker granola showed up way more brighter if that makes sense so I'm gonna just use granola I'm not gonna pair it with no other concealer because it is bright enough and I don't want to OD it you know what I'm saying I'm trying to balance out my foundation tone and my concealer tone me. I thought you would have said I thought you'd be there for me But you chose to walk away You promised me forever Forever ain't a thing You broke me, you hurt 
hurt me, you said that you love me, I'm not gonna cry no more. No. I'm stacking my money, you stay moving funny now, nigga, you gotta go. You gotta go. Cause you full of shit and you ain't legit. No, no. I'm so to contour today, I'm going to go back to one of my OG shades here. This is the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation, and I'm using the shade Coco. I kind of drifted away from this shade for a while because it is really dark and cool tone, and I've been loving the warm, bronzy kind of colors on my contour area, which what I usually use is um, the shade Rich. Um, but I'm using Coco today. It's okay, though. As you can see, it's very grayish undertone, but I'm going to finesse it because I have a warm tone powder contour that I'm gonna put on top of it so it's gonna balance everything out but I'm just loving the way my makeup was blending out today and the way it was working it was just so amazing so yeah Shout out to Tell for forgetting her setting powder at my crib the last time she was here. So I'm going to use it today. This is the Sacha Buttercup. And I love, 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 love this powder so much because it's so yellowy. And it just makes your skin look so yellowy. Like, I just love it. Like, oh my God, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it just makes my melanin so much more rich. It's so refreshing to see such a yellow powder after you've seen a white, you know, grayish, peachy powders. Just seeing a yellow one is just so much more refreshing. I'm in love. Thank you, Tuff, for leaving this here. <laughs> For powder contour today, I'm going to be using one of my OGs, which is my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. This one is in the shade Mocha, and as you can see, it's bringing back that warmth in my face rather than that cool tone NYX cream contour that we initially used. So um, I'm loving that. And then after that, we are going to go in with our... Ooh, okay, I messed up. We're sweeping away the excess powder. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought we was going in with blush, girl. I was ready to give y'all a tea on the blush. You know what I'm saying? So I'm quickly going under the eyes, doing the same thing that I did on top with the KKW palette on the bottom. And then we are going to use our face powder. Since we started to sweep away stuff, we are um, now pressing in our NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat face powder or whatever. And this one is in the shade Chestnut. I use Chestnut on the jawline and I use Cinnamon Spice under the eyes. Now for blush, I'm using the NYX Ombre Blush in the shade Feel the Heat, which is a very nice burnt orange, fiery kind of blush. And I just love it on melanin skin tone. To set our face, we are going to be using MAC Fix Plus as long as the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, make sure you fan your face. And I'm going to use my Kylie Highlighter, Kylie Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Salted Caramel. Whoo, I love this. Love this on melanin so much. It actually, it actually works for lighter skin tones as well. And then I'm going to pair that with jacket, 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 and Artist Couture Le Peach. And um, I just love a loose highlighter on top of a really good powder highlighter. It just looks so good. It gives it that extra oomph, that extra sparkle. You'll see it in the IG pics if you go follow me on Instagram and go see the pictures of me in this look. And then I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara to prep my lashes. And then I go in with my Broadway 304s. I come back to do the lips. And for the lips, I use my NK Auto Lip Liner in the shade Choco. Then I also paired it with my Dose of Colors Cork Liquid Lipstick on the outer edges. And I use Wet n Wild <laughs> Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nudie Patootie. And that's it for the lips. And then we go to the hair. So I'm not going to talk much. I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of it. Okay? Okay. After hours. Hop in the shower, come struck me with power. Hey, hey, let's make a move now. Just me and you now. Spin me right round. Hey, hey. Just in case you guys missed my um review on this hair. From a couple days ago i'll have a link down below in the eye on the upper right corner of the screen but i did decide to straighten this hair and i did not like how it looked straight at all the colors just did not look good straight so i ended up wanting to put these beach waves in it with the straight ends that's what i was going for here um this hair isn't holding the curl the best and i think it's because i haven't washed it yet you know when you have like new hair virgin hair at least and then when it's new new you need to wash this to take all that whatever they have in it out so it could just be raw 
raw raw so um yeah i feel like that's what i need to do but the curls look so much more prettier um after i recurled them i wasn't too much in love with the curls that came with this and i'm honestly really curious to see how the natural ways of this hair is anyway so yeah um I take out the curls after I pin curl them and then I use a straightener to straighten the ends and that's pretty much it. Just watch me finesse the rest of this wig. I thank you guys so so much for watching this video. I love you guys. Thank you. Let me know if you want some more makeup and hair transformation videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Alright? Turn that ass around, turn around too After hours, it's after hours